Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for today's video, which may be in multiple parts, most likely. I'm swatching all of my nude lip products. So I already did my red lip products and I was able to fit that in one video because I don't have that many. I mean, I have a lot of red lip products, but I don't have as many as I do nudes, clearly. So this bag is full of lip products and I also have some lip products in this thing and just like my little Shop My Stash cup. I just didn't want to mix them all together and then forget where it was where. So I think what I'm going to do is divide them by category. So like lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick maybe. Um, and then we'll see like how long <laughs> that takes because I am going to swatch all of these. So the point of like these videos I guess is to see how many like duplicates I have and if there's any I can pass on or if I have to throw any of these out because they're too old. We'll see about that. So yeah, I'm just going to divide these up and I'll be back. Okay, so these are all my lip gloss slash lip cream kind of things. Um, are they even all in frame? So let's start with these. Yeah, this is a bit much. <laughs> I guess I'll just start wherever. So this first one is a Sephora... Uh, outrageous plump effect outrageous plump effect that's what it's called in the shade 02 it looks like it's separating in the two but it might just be like the plumping formula this is quite old though I guess it still has that weird like plumping lipstick smell and it it looks like this. It's actually, it's actually really pretty. Um, yeah, it's a flattering nude for my skin tone, I think. And I really liked this when I used it before. I haven't used it in a while, but I remember really liking it. So there's that one. Then I have a NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Peanut Brittle. I believe I really like this one too. Whoa, that's stringy. And I'm just smelling these because to see if they're off. That is a really nice nude too, keeping this. <laughs> so these like intense butter gloss, they're just like more pigmented, I think. That's why they're called intense. Then I had this little mini Tarte H2O gloss in Sundress, I think. This was just in my Shop My Stash. It's a very light nude. Uh, that's a stain from swatching something else, <laughs> but it's here. So I have to wear this like over a lip color or with a lip liner because that is like concealer nude on me. But I did really like the formula of this. Um, then I have some ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. Yeah, this one is in the shade You Are Mine. These are all from the Secret Admirer collection. So they're pretty much brand new. Um, and I did swatch all of these on my lips in that video, so I can link that below if I remember. <laughs> but. This one, I guess, is actually more of a pink. I was going to do pink lipsticks in another video because I think I have enough in the pink tones to do a whole separate thing. So yeah, that probably should have been in the pink ones, but that's what that looks like. Then I have the shade Smoochin. This one's more of a brownie nude. Why? I don't... I can't figure out how to get in camera, apparently. Oh, why is this one, like, dry? 
This one just felt drier for some reason, but I got them all at the same time. Um, yeah, so that's more like a nude for me, a brownie nude. So I really like that shade. And then I have this one in the shade Makeout. So all the, there were six in the collection, I think. And I just pulled out like the ones that I thought were nudes. The rest are more like pink tones. Yes, this one is creamy. Yeah, this one was just dry and like moussey for some reason. But this one's creamier. That's a nice pinky brown. So I'm not getting rid of those because I just got them. Um, oh, so this one is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. So I think this is like a liquid lipstick in the shade Stockholm. I remember liking this. Yes. It's there. I like that shade too. So none of these are like exactly the same so far. <laughs> um, I have another plumping one. This is from Revlon. It's the plumping lip cream. This one's in like a squeezy tube kind of thing. Oh, this one's more like a pinky nude. It's very like thick, but it's really nice on lips because it gives, well, it's a plumping gloss, but in the sense that not necessarily like, you know, stings your lips, but it just makes them look less wrinkly. <laughs> it's a really nice pinky brown again, but still different from the other ones, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Um, then I have my Fenty Beauty in Fenty Glow, the gloss balm, sorry. I have quite a few of these, but I don't feel like the other ones are very, what I would consider nude, but this one is really pretty. Still smells good. And I also have a Fenty Cream. This one is in Honey Waffles. It's a very interesting brown shade. Almost like orangey. So that's pretty unique to my collection. This one is a mini from Sephora collection. It's the Ultra Shine Lip Gel. I remember really liking this. And the shade is Perfect Nude. And I tend to agree. It's a really pretty pinky nude. This one is a Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. Maybe this is more like a liquid lipstick, actually. It's in the shade Adorable. I remember really liking this, and when I wore it in a video, my cousin was like, what is that? <laughs> and it was this shade. So this one's more like a cool tone, almost like mauve. It feels really nice, the formula. I just don't remember how these dry down, but I remember liking the color of that. This one is a Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. I'm kind of scared to swatch this because <laughs> then my hand will sting. Um, it's in the shade Spice Girl. I don't know if I've ever used this, to be honest. Oh, that's pretty though. This one here. I mean, it looks quite similar to some other things. But maybe it's more like peachy. Yeah, it's more like a peach nude. This one, I wasn't sure what it was. It's a Bare Minerals Gen Nude, but it doesn't say what it is. <laughs> But the shade is called Everything. I think it's a lip gloss. 
Oh, that's like not really a nude for me. It's more like a rosy. It feels okay. I feel like this, if I remember, this is a very sticky gloss, but I like the color of it. I'll have to wear it on my lips to remind me if I like the formula, because I think I had like a mini of these and I thought it was very sticky, but I might be thinking of something else. Um, this one is from Merit. This is a tinted lip oil in the shade Eau Naturelle. Um, but I put it in my lip gloss category because it's actually quite pigmented for a lip oil. Like it's quite opaque, but it's really pretty. Oh, I have another Tarte H2O gloss. This one is in the shade Hang 10. This one's more pink, but let's see. Yeah, these are very, very thick glosses, but because they're thick, they look nice on the lips because they do that like plumping effect without having the stingingness of like a plumping formula. That's actually a really pretty color. I haven't used this one in a really long time. I have another from Tarte, but this is the Tartest Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Obvi, I think. On their minis, they don't print the full name, so I don't know. It just says O-B-V-I, like obvious, but you know shorthand. I'm running out of space. <laughs> I think after this one I'll remove the swatches. That is really pretty. That is similar to like these ones up here but I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> yeah so these are the first few. I'm gonna remove the swatches now but I think they're all different in their own way. <laughs> Some of them are more brown, some of them are peach, some of them are pink, so... And so far I don't hate any of them. This Milani one is drying down, so that should have been with the liquid lipsticks, but... Yeah, I really like the color of that. Something stained my hand. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> It actually might have been the Sephora, the first one I swatched. So maybe it's like the tingling, like the plumping aspect just made my hand red. Okay, let's move on. I have some Buxom ones. So this is the shade, well this is a full-on plumping lip cream in the shade Seychelles Breeze. Or Seychelles Breeze. I don't remember if you pronounce the S. But I love this one. That's what it looks like. Like a peachy nude. And it smells like coconut. Another one that I love, which you might have seen a lot of on my channel because it was in my deck of panning. And there's like a huge gap in it now. <laughs> but this is the another full-on plumping lip cream. But this one is in the shade Pumpkin Chai Latte. I love the Buxom like limited edition ones because they always smell different. Like this one smells like spicy. It's a really nice nude and very versatile depending on what you wear like under it or what color of like lip liner you use. It could be very different. This one is from Lancôme. It's a L'Absolu Lacar in the shade 202. I think this is called Day and Nuit et Jour or like Day and Night in English. I had to clear my memory card and I think I'm the other way around now. I'm confused. <laughs> But it might be easier for me to do it like this anyway because there's like a shadow from the sun 
Um, anyway, I was talking about these ColourPop Sailor Moon Ultra Glossy Lips. So I have the shade Moon Tiara, which is this like kind of gold nude, nice and shiny. And the one I, that I have in my Shop My Stash is the shade Sailor Moon. This one's more peachy and I really like it. It's this one here. These are very shiny because they have like very fine shimmer in them, if you can see that, which just makes the lips look really shiny. So I really like these. This one is a very brown nude from Allegory Story. This is the only product I have from this brand. I got it in a BoxyCharm quite a while ago. It's the shade Plato's Cave. It still smells all right. It's a very, like I said, brown nude, which I like. I'll have to use this one on the lips to see if I like the formula, but I really like the shade. I have another, um, ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. This one's from the Hocus Pocus collection. And it's in the shade Calming Circle. It's very pretty. I also tried this on in the video I did on this collection. Yeah, this one feels very moussey, like the other one. But it's a very nice nude on my skin tone, in my opinion. This is a Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. I remember really liking the formula of this. It's more pink than anything, but it's quite sheer, so it kind of just gives your lips like a tiny bit of color mostly just like a nice comfortable gloss so i really like that one i think it used to smell more like vanilla if i remember correctly but it looks good still <laughs> um this is a abh lip gloss in the shade Kristen. oh that's nice that's more like a mauve almost like grayy tone. I don't remember how I feel about the... Actually, yes I do. I really like the lip gloss. It's the liquid lipsticks that I find are very dry, but the lip glosses are really nice. I have another Buxom Plumping Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. This is a very light nude. It's, it almost just like blends into my skin tone, but I'm going to keep that one because I love the Buxom lip cream, especially. Why can't I get this back on? Okay. This is a Marc Jacobs mini in the shade Sugar Sugar. I remember this used to be really popular on YouTube, I think because of Jaclyn Hill. It's very nude. If you can see, see how like this one looked really nude and then that's even more nude. But this is more like pinky and this is more beige. I love the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I'm really sad that they're not a brand anymore. Um, this is a Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. Ooh, that's a nice peachy nude. Keeping that. These Maybelline lifter glasses are known to be like very good at the drugstore. They're very like high-end feeling. I think people compare them to Fenty. Um, but I think that's more because of like the packaging. I don't know. Because there's no shimmer in them, so yeah. Um, this is a Clarins Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 00. 
This is a like squeezy one, but it has like a cushion tip. I think this was in, was it my shop, my stash? It's honestly almost clear, but it has like a really nice shine to it, like very fine shimmers in the formula. So I really like this one. I remember it being very comfortable on the lips. Here is another Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Pretty Thing. So I actually, this is a repurchase for me, which is like the first time I ever repurchased anything, <laughs> like any makeup product, I think. Um, because I had a mini of this, but it went off. Like it started smelling really bad. And then Marc Jacobs went out of business or whatever they're doing and these were 50% off so I bought the full size so I'm definitely not getting rid of this one it still smells nice and minty this is like one of my favorite shades for lip gloss it's very much like my lips but better kind of shade and I really like the Marc Jacobs like minty gloss feeling so definitely keeping that one this one is from a BoxyCharm. It's a Steve Laurent lip gloss in the shade Posh. Oh, that's a nice rosy brown. Very pigmented for a lip gloss. I don't remember anything about this, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> uh, this is a Smashbox be legendary liquid pigment so these are like the bite beauty liquefied lipsticks in that they're like very very opaque but they're a gloss formula it's really pretty keeping that this is another like clear gloss but with shimmer with like gold shimmer I think I used this once. It's by Illuminati. It's the Liquid Lux lip gloss in the shade Power. It's very much like supposed to be a dupe for Louboutin, I guess. That's who it is, right? With this top. I don't know. I'm not very <laughs> fashionable. Um, it looks very gold. Oh, it actually, wow. That is what I, not what I expected. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's actually like a pink, purple, blue even shimmer. It's, wow. Okay, that's really nice actually. Probably on the lips, this would just look extremely high shine. So I'm gonna keep that. I didn't actually realize it's kind of like a duochrome but in a lip gloss formula. So these are the Bite liquefied lipsticks I was talking about. I only have them in mini size, um, but this is the nude one that I have. It's the shade Whip. I think this was in, this was in my project pan last year towards the end. So I didn't use it that much, but I used it enough to know that I really like it. And I didn't want to get rid of it, so I'm going to keep it. It's a very nice nude. Here's another shimmery lip gloss. This one is from Too Faced. It's the shade Eggnog. And these, I got these in like a holiday collection, of course. So I have all different ones, but this one was like the nude one to me. These are actually the High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss Formula. And I remember really liking this. Oh yeah. That's very like bronzy. Like a bronze nude, very pretty. Oh, almost forgot some here. This is a Jouer high pigment lip gloss in the shade Chant Elysee. I actually didn't even know I had this. <laughs> when I um, pulled this out, 
to for this video i was like what even is this i thought it was a bite beauty lip gloss but the packaging was not and then i saw jouet i was like oh okay so this must have came in a boxy charm that's the shade so it's actually quite similar to like other things i have um, to this one, whatever that was, I don't even remember anymore, but I don't know enough about this formula to know if I want to get rid of it. Like I kind of want to really just try it out. So I'm going to keep that one. This is a, oh, my back, <sighs> this is a hard candy plumping serum in sugar sugar so same shade name as the Marc Jacobs one but I think this is more pink yes it's more like a milky pink but I do remember I liked this when I used it so it's this one here I'm gonna keep that because I don't have a lot of um, drugstore lip products so I like to keep that one to like compare and also I remember I liked it so I'm keeping it um, then I have two from Tower 28 this one is in cashew these are very like liquidy almost like lip oil formula so that's the shade and they're not very opaque, as you can see, but I really like the formula of this. And the other one I have is more like a brown. This is the shade Almond. So you can see that it's more brown. And this is actually quite unique to me. So definitely keeping these two. I also have the clear one from Tower 28 and I really like that too. So those are all the shades. I didn't get rid of anything <laughs> so far. Oh dear. So those were all my lip gloss, lip creams in the nude color family. I think I'm going to end this video here for today because if not it's going to be like three hours long. So. I hope you liked this video and that you'll come back for lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. So yeah, um, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!